Uh, on to the big one now, the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Uh, presenting Percy and Clan Desovo, sharing favouritism currently at 4-1. to one. Uh, Native River last year's winner, 6-1. to one. Kenboy, 10-1. to one. Might Bite, 14-1. to one. Bells Hill, 14-1. to 16-1. to one Bar and, and, and uh, Tony, you mentioned, um, I'll come to you first, you spoke mm. to Nico about Might Bite on um, the other podcast, so we may as well repeat it here. Yeah, he, was, uh, he worked him on Sunday, did a solo gallop. I said, look, was it just a, a dawdle round? He said, no. He said, I really let him go on. And he said, you know, they, in his own words, he said, they rock and rolled uh, over 10 fences, very, very happy with them. Increasingly, they're, you know, they're, they're getting, they think the horse is getting there. It's had a, it's had a slight wind up. Nicky Henderson's got a great record, as with Paul Nichols, uh, with a strike rate after the wind up. So, obviously, we know they want decent ground. They're confident of a run, but personally, even at 12s, 14 to 1, it's not really for me. I'm not going to argue about, particularly going to argue about the prices uh, at the top of the market, presenting Percy, Glenn, as Oboe, but even at fours, nine to two, they don't excite me. Um, just cutting to the chase, uh, I've been backing invitation only uh, ever since the Thai Estes. Um, I had a few quid on him before that as well. Um, slipped on landing when when him pulled up in the um, JLT last year, so you know I wouldn't ha- uh, have the Cheltenham form against him. But um, I just thought he was really impressing the Thaistis last time. I think he's had an exposure over the trip. Um, he clearly needs to improve on that Gowan run, but it's really interesting that Willie Mullins has used that as a stepping stone twice in recent years with the winner. Both of them, uh, on his own, and Jack Adam went on from that to finish uh, second in the Gold Cup in, on his own, obviously beating a short head. Um, Jack Adam beating two lengths. Albeit, I think one of those, I think uh, Odizo went on to win the Bobby Joe before he got there, but I think Jack Adam went straight from the Tiestes there. Invitation only won the Tiestes off a higher mark than Jack Adam. I just, I've been backing it at big prices. It's still 70 plus win only on Betfair at the moment. I, that's where I've been doing most of my trade on it. Uh, if you want to back him, you can back him at 40 to 1 each way with Hills. That's, not, uh, that's, that's all in, or 33 to 1 no bet. Um, you know, you, you pay your money, you take your choice. I'm quite happy to be keep on chipping away at, uh, you know, 60, 70 plus on Betfair. But invitation only for me is the better the Gold Cup. Joe? Um, until Pat Kelly proves that he's wrong, I think you have to stick with him with presenting Percy. Um, unconventional and all that, I just think the horse is an absolute weapon. Um, and he's got it right the last couple of years. Um they clearly believe that he's good enough. I think he's probably going to only get a bigger price between now and then based on all the vibes and all the different bits of negativity coming out. Um, Nichols is absolutely deadly when he gets hold of a horse like Clanda's Oboe. He just seems to know exactly what makes them tick. I could see Native River bouncing back. Um, but uh, if the ground is on the soft side of good, I will be backing Annabelle Fly on the day. And particularly if Mona Lee turns up in the Ryanair the day before mm-hmm. and runs well, I think uh, I think that was a huge run over two and a half miles at Gore in the last day in the Red Mills. Um, and uh, if they could make a bit more, he, he never got into it last year. He stayed on really, really well, but you know it was a two-horse race almost from flagfall last year and nothing really ever got into it from behind. I, they, made, they probably learned a good bit from it as well, but um, I Percy and Annabelle fly for me. Annabelle Fly, 25 to 1 uh, with Skybet and Labrooks, both with non no bet and bet Victor as well, mm. I should say, and uh, 888 Sports. So uh, interesting with them and looking through that Monolith form as well before, beforehand. Uh, Andy, the, the, the main man for the main, for the main race? Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a stellar Gold Cup. Um, every horse that counts is going to be there. I think we're going to get 16 or more runners based on what I can see. Um, that'll make sure that most bookmakers will be betting five places, some will go six. So yeah. I don't think there's any, any real need to have Get a bet at the moment. moment. Yeah. No, I don't think so. We get a chance to look at the, what's in the lineup. We get a chance to see the ground, who's in form as well. I think that's important, which trainers are in form. Um, but just based on what they've done so far this season, then I've been, even though he hasn't won, I've been particularly impressed with Nate River. Um, things haven't quite worked out for him, but he's done nothing wrong in his two runs. Obviously, King Kempton didn't suit him. But he, he, I just love the way he battled on all the way to the line. But Chilton's a different ball game, particularly on the new course. He gets into that rhythm, he's off in front. We know he's going to push this lot into the areas where they just don't want to be going. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they gradually drop off one by one, one by one. And he just tightens his grip, tightens his grip. 
and he'll he'll just keep grinding away. I think he's a really good each way bet on the day. Perhaps something in around the five six to one mark with six places, five six places. And I certainly think Road to Respect has come here a little bit under the radar because he got beat last time out in a small field. But interestingly, that they went a right gallop that day, him and Bells Hill. Mm -hmm. um, Joe's already mentioned the storyteller, and even though he got beat seven or eight lengths, he still won a good number. They went, they went quicker than La Baga Roy, over two and a half miles, which suggests they were trapping on. And he ran well in the Gold Cup last year. He also, similar to Annabelle Fly, never really got in it because it was a bit of a, a two-horse race from a long way out. And it was hard to make the ground up from the back of the field. Um, he, he should have won the Neville Chase early in the season, but he, he slipped up at the bend, and then he got no, and then he and then he. He, uh, he tried to go for a run at the inside when he got knocked, 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 knocked sideways. He should really be almost coming here three wins on the spin. Um, he should have won it up his down. Last time, I can say, he backed off his hurdles when he fences when he was in front. The ground is too fast for him as well. Um, but a bigger field, stronger gallop, more conventional race. I think Road to Respect's got to go well. He's 20 to 1. I'll, I'll definitely be looking to back him sort of five, six places on the day or for a place. He might get sort of four to one a place on the day. Um, yeah, so. so I, I, I think Preventive, Preventive Percy is the right favourite. I couldn't knock him. His Galmore hurdle win was good. He's just a big time operator. He's won twice around Cheltenham. But at the prices, Native River is very solid. And I think Road to Respect is also one worth looking at at a price. Road to Respect 20 to 1 with Hills and Betfair Sportsbook. And uh, Native River with the same two firms, 6 to 1. And um, I think if you'd, if you'd told us uh, after last year's race, to be only 6 to 1 about Native River, would have been, um, well, I certainly would have been getting involved myself. Um, any, any other comments on, on the Gold Cup before we move on to the last two? No. So this is where I'll be. Just, I'll just add, just on Andy's on Road to Respect, Noel was making the Ryanair a live runner for him yesterday. Right. On, okay. um, on, um, he was chatting to Gary after the bumper, which was a bit mm. weird. I don't know why, but no. he, was, he was at pains to suggest that the Ryanair is more than just a possibility for him. Well, if that's the case, he'd be a huge player. Be a in big that. runner in there. Yeah, definitely. Sixteen to one paddies and uni bet on road to respect with non runner no bet, which, given what Joe's just that's said, a, yeah. is probably that's the right. Probably, a bit of a show. Pro probably the right play. Very close to favourite. Mm -hmm. He would be running that. 